Hello, welcome back. It's the Clay Golem here. We're back in Foundry VTT and we have something exciting. We have some updates to our modules for version 12. Remember, I'm operating in version 12 so that you don't have to, um, but it's really coming together. It really is. So uh, one of the big things for us, bit game breaking for me, is Monk's active tile triggers. That has been updated in the past couple of hours. Look, we're now on, I know it's very tiny for you guys, but we're now on 12.01. Monk has updated it. Now, in fairness, he does say that this is the first iteration. It might still have some little glitches and things, um, but massive move forward. So that means for me, Cursor Strad should be hopefully fairly functional. So I want to have a look at that. Now, I did previously start doing a video, so I have already launched this world and updated it, um, but I totally messed up the video. It went all over the place. I wasn't quite, my head wasn't in quite the right place. So um, all I did was, you could see like my item creations not being updated, Storm Wreck Isles not being updated, but I did update Curse of Strahd when I logged in doing that original video. Uh, and all it did, does really is just confirm that you want to update um, and bring us in. So I've not changed anything in here um, as a result of... Uh, that's not quite true, actually. I'll tell you what I did change. I only changed one thing. Um, our landing page is driven by Monk's active tile triggers. Uh, and this was one of the big, like, uh-oh, it's wrecked Curse of Strahd. But that's fine, because I knew that when I updated to version 12. But with Monk's active tile triggers updated, does it all still work? Well, spoiler, because I already went through this very nervously, it, it's all still working. I've not made any changes. Um, clicking on the map does nothing. If I click activate map, I get my map. Perfect. The invitation, this now appears. I can click on it, it takes me to the journal, um, and I can turn those things on and off. Um, party journal, yep. Colan's letter number two. Yep, that works. These textbooks on Strad, absolutely. These are both in here now by clicking that button. The Van Richten's guide appears. All of these work perfectly, and I've not changed anything apart from updating Monk's active tile triggers. We've got our holy symbol down here. I know you can see it. Players can't see it until I click on this. Now they can see it. And if I click reset, all of that gets hidden again. So all of that is working perfectly. Uh, I can click on Haley's image there and it brings it up. So what's broken on here? Not a single thing is broken on here. Now there is a couple of issues with party loot because item piles that's driving this has not been updated yet. Um, I'm not. That's not my main concern. That really isn't my main concern at the moment. My main concern is the active tile triggers. Uh, let's pop over to the mysterious visitors um, and again we've got this tile upon tile kind of situation so yes you can see them but the player can't what I need to do let me let me log in as a player for you so that I can show you um, the players view of this I'm just logging in Haley on the other screen uh, and if you give me a second I'm just going to mix with my screens here and uh, there we go hopefully that wasn't too uh, traumatic for you <laughs> just a quick blur there to protect the innocent um, let me clear out my chat log and shrink that down for you so it's not in your way there we go so on the left hand side we have Haley's view and on the right hand side we've got the DM's view so let's zoom Haley out slightly so that fits in oops slightly nicer for your view there uh, and as I say on the right hand side we've got all of our triggers so we should be able to click our top one here and have this character fade in and disappear we've got our children fade in and disappear now one thing I've noticed they're not fading are they oh the children are fading in very, very slowly. <laughs> okay, so I would need to go in and adjust how quickly those are fading in because they're taking far too long to do that. Um, that's okay. That's an easy fix, isn't it? 
Uh, they're also not fading in as much as I want them to. Uh, again, it's not a surprise because we have had an update. So if I just uh, select this tile, for example, um, there's no triggers actually on here, is there? No, there aren't because it's on this tile. So here where we've got our, our triggers here, hang on, the basics, fine. Our triggers is where it's going to be. And we've got this fade. I've got five seconds. I'm going to change that down to two and it's going to toggle in and out. That will be a little bit quicker, which is good. Um, update that tile. We might find that we get a, a better response from that one. Oh, look, it's just toggling on and off. If you're looking at the left-hand side, Haley's, it's not fading at all anymore, is it? So this might be just... Okay, wrong bloody button. Uh, this might be just one of those little things that's not quite working yet. I've got toggle duration yeah so uh, again it's not perfect this is the first little incident we've come across that's not perfect um, it's not a game breaker it's just not as smooth as I wanted it to be and look, those those children are not fading in at all are they why is that is that because I've got the opacity down too far now that's better so this is partly to do with the version 12 with the way that the tiles are kind of automatically transparent if you've got tiles laid upon tiles I think that's what it is so where I've got then I've put transparency on top of that it's a bit too much so if we look on the left hand side now those children are much more visible so uh, yeah it just needs a bit of balancing so that is that is fading in, isn't it? It's just it's bringing the whole tile up and then fading in. So again, just needs a bit of tweaking. And yeah, in fairness, Monk did say that uh, you know he's done the job, but there will be little bits to do. So I will give some feedback and just uh, show that that's not quite where we want it to be. But we've got our figures in the fire, which switch out, and I can reset it. So yeah, not too bad at all. Let's look at the death house. Um, Oh, let's look at the Svalich Road. Okay, whoops, let's bring you back over here. Uh, need to reset that. There we go. So we've got this again, so we can use our fog and dim. That dims much, much quicker than it did before. I just need to check that I'm happy with the rate of dimming and things. The gates of Ravenloft can appear and disappear. We can go through the gates, which is supposed to change scene but it didn't okay so a little bit of fiddling I need to do toggle the corpse picture there it is that's coming beautifully just how I wanted it to and then vanishes so it vanishes really quick rather than fading out uh, we can bring up our letter that all works which is fantastic we should have our wolf noises yep they're working we should be able to click wolf attack that all works fine as well in that combat uh, end our attack we should have Barovia in sight that's going to bring us through to the next one add on our heavier fog that appears to be working and then Rose and Thorn appearing and then of course finally our death house before we move on to the next scene that's all pretty good so just some of the tiles fading in and out needs looking at and adjusting but on the whole that's pretty darn good um, the only changes that need to be made here are regarding the scene regions so one thing I realized is that we suddenly had fog all over our actual tile area let me go down to the ground floor so we had fog in the house which we don't want of course um, but that's because of this our active effects here um, our particle effects that we were using to drive the fog has not been updated so that wasn't working to exclude that area but we don't need that anymore so all I did was swap that out and put a region in so there's our region um, and our region behavior we've added on to suppress weather really simple we've seen that in a previous video nice and easy um, we don't need you anymore 
Where's, where's my close button? Anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that was easy to fix. We can get that working and that's working all throughout the house now. Okay, so we've got this. Uh, but of course I had to change the fog back to the scene powered. So in our ambience here, rather than using the fog from our effects over here because that's not updated. So that was the only other change I need to make. So overall, how broken is it? it it's not. It's not broken. It needs some tweaks. Um, it needs some tweaks on some of the tiles uh, that obviously will come over the next few days anyway um, with Monk doing some updates and just making those a little bit smoother. Uh, but it is absolutely functional. So while it was quite terrifying to upgrade, update this one especially because it's so tiles driven or active tiles driven, it ain't that bad, is it? So anyway, there we go. Um, again, if you're thinking about updating, I'd probably leave it a little bit longer until some of those, especially if you've got lots of active tiles. Give it another few days at least. Uh, I'll try and keep you updated when that is now working uh, perfectly again. But what it does mean is we can continue building Curse of Strahd in version 12 without too many issues, which is brilliant. So thank you for watching. Appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next one.